Marcos Luzada Silva. Where's Luzada on his back? BA, you are paid to make those type of plays. They right. do understand it, right? right? Okay. So for all the young guys out there listening, the NBA is paying you to make those type of plays. They're not surprised when you do it also. Chandler Hutchinson, at least that's how he projected. White pushes it. Bulls lose it again. It's Hayes ahead to Alexander Walker, who stuffs it home left-handed. Rookie to rookie. Hayes to Alexander Walker. Pressure on the defense and finish on those lobs. So when the point guard hits you, that's what you're looking for in your seven for these days. Hayes moving without the ball, and his fellow rookie Alexander Walker finds him with a bullet pass for the dunk. For Summer League, in the game prior, the Boston Celtics had Carol Lawson. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. I want to apologize to Stephanie, but that was a showstopper. Everything, every time you say that, and that, it reminds me that I was born in 1963. <laughs> <laughs> Hayes with another dunk. He can block shots. Average entry is going to find some minutes for him. Absolutely. Alexander Walker for a three. Man, these, these Pelicans can let it fly, can't they? It's not good when you're a big and a guard blocks your shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good old man. Boy, Alexander Walker. Got to be excited about what's happening. Then you look at a guy like Hayes and these other young guys. Tell you, look at that. <laughs> Jackson Hayes with another dunk. Rookie to rookie. And, the and thing who's like. guarding Jackson Hayes? Alexander Walker out of Virginia Tech. Looks really good. He's really good with both hands yes. as well. See him finish with the left. Alexander Walker couldn't finish. Blew it. Steals it. Alexander Walker punches it. There's the steal and the finish by Alexander Walker. Reverse pivot. Shot is up Tough and good. Shot. Tough. Zion who? <laughs> Showing it all off. What a night he is having. All Pelicans. Which is unusual considering how many guys on the floor are fighting for roster spots and positions. There's another dunk for Hayes. Here or two that stood out to you so far today, John, or in the summer. Like, who's a guy who you look at and you say, okay, you know, and I can see where this piece might fit in. You know, I, I want to ask you guys this, you know, Coach Gentry, when you're watching the summer league games, what are some of the things you're looking for specifically that you need to see across the board in guys when you're out here watching? Them? Orleans with a 12-5 lead. 5.35 to go in this first quarter. Don't worry, Mark and Dan. We'll get it back to you eventually. Whatever you want, Ryan. Down Whatever there. You, <laughs> you can see that what's important to him is his family. His mom is the best coach he had because she's been the toughest coach that he had. <laughs> <laughs> they need to talk and come in and talk. Uh, they'll do it and I'll allow them to talk about anything that they want to. It doesn't necessarily have to be basketball. Coach Beeline, obviously that'll be an interesting yeah, dynamic yeah. for you. Culture, it's going to be so much about that. It will be a lot about X's and O's, and there's no question about that. To win in this league, you got to be good at that. But you can't win without the first. And it wasn't an accident. No. They led for three quarters of the game. Did you do that game? Did call that game with Doris Burke. I'm not going to lie to you. I watched that game while I was playing blackjack. That trade going to Oklahoma City now. Alexander with a nice scoop shot. Got the bucket to fall. Super, super. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Me, Chicago. <laughs> Gary, Barry, we're the same little league in Gary. Uh, <laughs> nice hip in. He is going to be good. Say he had the longest wingspan ever at the combine. Long inside, blocked. I love Joey. Still do. Very passionate. A lot of people don't know this about Joey. Very passionate about women's collegiate basketball and women's high school basketball. Actually, very in integral in a he's highly recruited anybody in the country. I mean, he really was. And when Mississippi State got him, it was fine. But then had a nice, nice run at Kansas. And we were talking about some of the assets, particularly Brandon Ingram. And he just raved about Brandon Ingram back then at, in February. Not something that was more pathological. So, Dan, I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one on you TV. Sound like one. But it just Alexander in his bag. A good that's, defense. Exactly, that's exactly the way to put it. Oh, there you uh, go. He didn't call a bank, but Carl will take it anyway. He had to do that. Brad Steve is really excited about it. Walker inside. Tough shot. Boy, he might be the player of the game. Coach that has a 
a lot of tentacles and branches to his coaching tree. Can I, can I tell you about Fred Vincent, the coach of the Cowboys? He's always on target. That's a walk. But a beautiful rotation on the stroke there from Alexander Walker. Coach is a friend of John Beeline. Says, look, I've got this kid. Transfers to Michigan. Ends up playing in a national championship game on a Big Ten title team. Pretty much think, well, the Miami Heat have disappeared since LeBron left. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, a lot of teams disappear after LeBron leaves, but they've made the playoffs several times since LeBron left. You couldn't say that for Cleveland. Our second game here on the Thomas and Max Center today with teams playing for a spot in the semifinals tomorrow on ESPN2, the championship Monday night. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker's nice day continues. He's got 10. How could you go 13 miles? Like, and then do it again three nights later or four, whatever you do. I like him, man. Duncan Robinson's been good. He, he fit into the Big Ten. There was no learning curve for him. He was just really good. Working on defending, working on rebounding, and there's that kid again doing things. Leo Vrankovic, who had played at Duke. His dad's the president of the uh, basketball federation there. But just the way they executed their offense was really pleasing to watch. Alexander Walker. Splash. He's got 20. Trailing only Robinson. Charles Cook, the 25-year-old from Trenton, New Jersey, who went undrafted a few years ago. Holy cow! Jackson Hayes. Where is his head on this play? He just ran at full speed. The bucket on one end and fearless attacking the glass. There's a lot to like about Jackson Hayes, man. He is a playing guy. Alexander Walker's pass was almost too good for Big B. Williams. Robinson, game high 26 points, is pickpocketed by the former Virginia Tech Hokie who soars to the basket and scores off the window. And they make a bad play or sulk when something big goes wrong for them. And he continues to be a playmaker, finding Williams. Look, this is pretty good here. Just jump up, little no look, left hand. May not feed you, but it will sustain it gets you. you. Yes, it gets you a lot of places. What? What? Two defenders on Alexander Walker. He goes around them. Hayes stumbles his way into two points. 96-90. Agents find high energy guys, and they're all over this roster. For a great dime inside, Williams off the dime from Walker. And the competition's really good. Oh, big man caught a body again. Man, Jackson Hayes has had, had some real sparkling dunks Those two here guys. in Summer League. Oh, man. You think it's hot outside. These guys have been sizzling. <laughs> Alexander Walker for three from the corner. He gets it to drop. Three-point attempt by Alexander Walker, and he drains another one. Boy, nice-looking shot there, George Sedano. And uh, I tell you, George, hey, George is always ready. Have you, hey, have you Sedano is always ready. Side pocket jumper. The lead is down to seven. The Brazilian again, Lozada. What do you think of our guy, Didi Lozada? Love his game. Big guy, right? Yeah, Six been. Five guard. Been pretty strong defensively. Reserves, reverse layup good by Alexander Walker. And here come the Pels, down by just five. Quick shot, missing. Nice push. Williams. And it's a two-point game. Timeout, Grizzlies. Didi leading the way. Alexander Walker knots the game. It's supposed to come off a step-up screen. He he drove into the crowded side of the floor. Oh, look at his hands. And he made it up for it on defense. Walker, little contact, no call. What a tip by here. He comes up and sets a screen. Pick clean. Walker Alexander. And the slam. They're up by three. Holy cow. Walker, one to go for the game. Oh!